I have two interesting prayer books to share today. Hello again. What we have here are two prayer books that are not the Book of Common Prayer, but they are Common Prayer adjacent. Uh, these are both um, copies of St. Augustine's prayer book. I'll focus on that. And something I was completely unfamiliar with, and there is very little on YouTube I could find uh, on this book or these books. Uh, this is produced for those in the Episcopal Church in America, and specifically, from what I can tell, for those in a, a particularly Anglo-Catholic type of parish. Uh, and as we look through these, you'll kind of see what I mean by that. Um, one is the older version and one is the newer version. They're um, very similar books, but there are distinct differences uh, based on when they were produced and who produced them. Uh, the first and the oldest is this cloth overboard. It's like a navy blue, maybe. Um, is produced by the Order of the Holy Cross, I believe. Holy Cross Publications, West Park, New York. This is the revised edition. St. Augustine's Prayer Book, a book of devotion for members of the Episcopal Church. This one is, as I said, the older of the two. Looks as though this particular book was printed sometime around 2005. The first edition, it says 1947. I apologize for my focus jumping all over, but it was easier to just take it off locked focus for a bit here. There's a note here on the revised edition, but let's lock in on the table of contents so you can see what this is. Um, let me first skip to the forward. This little devotional manual is published in response to a rather large demand on the part of the reverend clergy and others and is dedicated, as his name implies, to the patron saint of the Order of the Holy Cross, St. Augustine of Hippo, etc., etc. No one should suppose that it is intended to take the place of the Book of Common Prayer, which is the official service book of the Episcopal Church, for its chief value will certainly be found in its daily use as a manual of private prayer and devotion. So this was uh, intended for private prayer by those who use the Book of Common Prayer in their liturgy at their local parish, um, which uh, I guess I fall on the opposite end of that spectrum. I don't attend a church um, that uses the Book of Common Prayer, but I use the Book of Common Prayer for my personal devotions, uh, morning and evening prayer daily. And those of you who watch my channel regularly know that I use the 1928 American Prayer Book or the 1662 Book of Common Prayer. Uh, let's go back to the table of contents. So we've got Christian's obligations, lay baptism, common forms of prayer, morning prayers, midday prayers, evening prayers, various prayers, praise and thanksgiving, the Mass, which uh, in incarnations of the Common Prayer Book since at least 1662 is not... Uh, the communion, Holy Communion is not known as the Mass. I think in earlier uh, versions of it, it does mention commonly known as the Mass. Spiritual Communion, Sacrament of Penance. Okay, we're getting into somewhat Anglo-Catholic ter ter territory here. Benediction of the Blessed Sacrament. Okay. Visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Stations of the Cross. Definitely not found in the Book of Common Prayer, although something that... Uh, I'm kind of drawn to, to be honest. Uh, Stations of the Cross. Okay, prayers and sickness, prayers for the sick. And then we turn the page uh, physically and, and uh, metaphorically. Communion of the sick, prayers for the dying. We're good. Prayers for the dead. Okay, that is would not be found in the Book of Common Prayer. Prayers for the dead. Requiem Mass, also not in the Book of Common Prayer. Absolution of the dead. Okay. Um, devotions to the Holy Trinity, devotions to the Holy Ghost. Devotions of the Sacred Heart, 
devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary, <laughs> things that uh, are very, um, very Catholic, uh, not not in the Book of Common Prayer. This book, just uh, to step back for a moment, the physicality of it, has really nice opaque paper. Uh, it's printed really beautifully. It's easy to read. It is a sewn binding, has kind of a blue and white head and tail bands, no ribbons. I may add a ribbon or two to this if I find myself using it. Uh, there are morning, midday, and evening prayers. Uh, to use in, I guess, in place of the morning and evening prayer as found in the Book of Common Prayer. Uh, these various prayers. As I'm recording this, we are in an ember week. And the Book of Common Prayer, uh, at least the American 1928, has a separate collects for ember days. This has a collect for an ember day, uh, an ember day uh, collect, but it is different than that in the 1928 prayer book. Almighty God, the giver of all good gifts, who of thy divine providence has appointed diverse orders in thy church, give thy grace, we humbly beseech thee, to all those who are to be called to any office and administration in the same, and so replenish them with the truth of thy doctrine, and endue them with innocency of life, that they may faithfully serve before thee to the glory of thy great name, and the benefit of thy holy church through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. It's also as uh, ro rogation days. Uh, here we are at the Mass. The sign of the cross here indicates the physical motions of sign of the cross. I'm just going to skim through and give you some sense of... Probably can't see that. Lock that down. Spiritual communion when un unable to attend Mass. Sacrament of Penance. Visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Very un-Anglican. Stations of the Cross. Has these black and white kind of look like woodcuts, but I'm not sure if they actually are woodcuts. To be prayed as you visit the Stations of the Cross. I don't know if, uh, I've not been in, a, in an Episcopal church that had Stations of the Cross around the, the uh, perimeter uh, as you find in a Catholic church. Uh, maybe that's common, I'm not, I'm not certain of that. Prayers for the sick, prayers for the dying, and then prayers for the dead would be very unusual to find in a Book of Common Prayer. Already covered that, Requiem Mass, same. Requiem Mass is the Eucharistic sacrifice offered with the special intention of some soul or souls who, having gone through the human experience of death, we think of as being in the second state of the church called paradise or the church expectant, where they are undergoing their final preparation for entry into the bliss of heavenly perfection. Uh, yeah, would uh, not be found in your Book of Common Prayer. Also... Devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary, not so much. Uh, Devotion to St. Joseph, Holy Angels, same. Various litanies, novenas. Novena in preparation for Christmas. I think there's one for Lent. Just the season we're in now, and I'm recording this. Devotion on the Passion. Holy Hour. Okay, so you get the, uh, the gist here. Very nicely made book. Uh, parts of it I find maybe useful for my personal devotion. Parts of it I am unlikely to use, uh, just based on my own um, theology and uh, worship. Uh, the second book, very much like the first, also St. Augustine's prayer book. This one is, I'm going to unlock this so we can hopefully see it. It's produced in what looks like a nicer manner. It's this leather-like or leatherette, might be bonded leather or something. The gold printing of this unique cross. Uh, this one is produced by Forward Movement. This one printed in 2020. Copyright is 2014. And this table of contents, see already on this one the 
printing is more difficult to read than the other. The paper is more like Bible paper and there's it's thinner and there's more ghosting. Uh, it's pretty. This has gold gilding around the edge. This one comes with two ribbons, a black and a red. You can see that. And can't see red and black tail bands and headband. Maybe you can't see that, but no, uh, trust me. But it appears to be a glued binding, and it's already kind of stressed when this book looks practically brand new. Coming apart a little bit. Anyway, back to the table of contents. Um, very similar uh, layout here. Daily prayer. Uh, grace at meals for the sick. Thanksgiving doxologies. Okay. We don't have the... I don't see prayers for the dead in this one. I believe it's in here. Various prayers. Little section on the church's seasons and holy days. Lent, again, that's the season I'm in while I'm recording this. It's like some kind of catechistic kind of material here at the beginning. Ten Commandments, Christ's Summary of the Law, the Virtues, Seven Deadly Sins, Gifts of the Holy Spirit, Beatitudes. Holy Eucharist, does it, does it call this the Mass? Doesn't appear to here. Also has Station of the Cross. I think they're the same illustrations, but borrowed in this updated version. Devotions for various times in the church year. There we go. There's prayers for the dead. Stuck at the back this time. Requiem Mass also at the back. Devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary also at the back. I wonder if they intentionally sort of separated that out. Those things that would not be found in the common prayer. There's some various litanies. This one has an index, which I don't think the older hardcover version had. Oh, it does. Small index. Okay, so just based on physicality, I'd prefer this as just a more well-made book. It'll last longer than this. I expect the pages, if I use this daily as it's intended, the pages would be falling out. Again, both of these uh, have material that I would find useful um, just for personal devotions if I weren't already a devotee of the common prayer. And both of them have material that I would be unlikely to use and uh, seems rather un-Anglican. Um, so very much Anglo-Catholic in nature. Um, you know, if Anglo-Catholicism is where you're at, it's a, it's a neat book and it uh, probably would be useful to you. So I can give it a, a provisional recommendation on that front. Uh, beyond that, they'll probably sit on my shelf for a while. I, I, I don't see myself switching to use these for personal devotion. No, that's just my personal preference. Beautiful books, uh, not as useful for me as common prayer. Thanks for joining me for this little review of these two prayer books. Um, join me next time when I'll be doing something of interest to someone, probably of interest to me, and if it's an, of interest to you, watch comment, join the conversation. I always appreciate that. Thanks for stopping by today. Hope to see you here again next time.